This is a short little blurb on the Tesla Plaid sway bars. And these were purchased at Unplugged Performance. They specialize in like Tesla aftermarket stuff. Uh, when you go on their site, you might only see available a rear sway bar. Uh, when I contacted them though, they said they were uh, just wrapping up a front one too. And so they did offer to sell me the front sway bar. And so I had both of them installed. There's a place in Minnesota that uh, does kind of monkeys around with some Tesla stuff. And I had had them both put on. Um, so if you don't see that for sale on their website, the front one, um, you might just want to contact them. I think it was a little bit more than the rear, um, potentially. Not much. Um, and it could have been more... The labor was more expensive too on that, but um, yeah, as far as the the end result, I would say you know on a scale of one out of ten of what I've seen for a vehicle, um, I'd give it like probably a six. Um, is it worth getting? Yeah, um, I think the reason maybe it wasn't drastically different. Um, it was because maybe the sway bars that were in the car were halfway um, acceptable, um, but still far from being awesome. So there's some vehicles that I've added them on and it was like night and day difference where the Tesla Plaid, it was, it was um, definitely noticeable and um, I would do all over again for sure. Um, just not like a night and day. It didn't feel like a BMW M5 or anything. Um, just felt a lot better. Take care.